Knowledge argument, also known as Mary's room, is a philosophical thought experiment that I've chosen to demonstrate what qualia is. Basically, this thought experiment wants to make the case that there are certain knowledge that can only be obtained through conscious experience of the subject. If you experience a quail, you won't be able to communicate it by any other means than direct experience. It's something completely private and you just cannot make interpersonal comparisons of it. It's basically the same famous question that asks, how do you know you're experiencing the same red as I do? And yes, other people may indeed be experiencing the color red differently from you, but there's just no way of knowing it for sure. Qualia is the term which is ascribed to such kind of properties. A story might demonstrate this better. Mary is a brilliant scientist who is for whatever reason forced to investigate the world from a black and white room via a black and white television monitor. She specializes in the neurophysiology of vision and acquires, let us suppose, all the physical information there is to obtain about what goes on when we see ripe tomatoes or the blue sky and use terms like red, blue and so on. She discovers, for example, just which wavelength combinations from the sky stimulate the retina and exactly how this produces via the central nervous system the contraction of the vocal cords and expulsion of air from the lungs that results in the uttering of the sentence, the sky is blue. The question is, what will happen when Mary is released from her black and white room or is given a colored television monitor? Will she learn something new? This was an argument for the existence of qualia. If you agree that after Mary leaves her room, she indeed learns something new, then you've accepted qualia exists. However, you could reason this isn't very convincing to think qualia exists just by saying Mary would learn something new. Mary should already have a functional knowledge and know exactly what to expect when she comes across the color red for the first time. That function in knowledge should serve as the experience of seeing the color red. 